Thanks for tuning in to Out of Scope, episode number 46, the real reason Facebook organic reach is declining. Sports marketing expert, Brian Cristiano. Brian Cristiano. Brian Cristiano. Marketers and advertisers and brands always have to keep in mind, you have to play to the state of your audience. Sports fans are arguably the most passionate people probably on the face of this planet. If you're not passionate, do something else. So last week I was in the marketing or entrepreneurial section of Reddit and I saw a question that I've heard a million times from clients and potential clients which was, why is Facebook organic reach declining? Meaning, when you put a post on Facebook, let's say you have 50,000 followers and only 1,000 of those people see that post, why is that? Everyone defaults, clients, the people on Reddit, everyone defaults to this, oh, well, it's because Facebook is trying to make as much money as possible. If they hold that audience back, then they're forcing you to boost the post or to use their ad product. And I think that's, for some reason, become ingrained in how this actually works, which is complete bullshit and not even remotely part of the truth. Well, it is remotely part of the truth, but it's not the big picture. Organic reach is controllable and it goes to, back to your content. And yes, does Facebook wanna make as much money as it can? Absolutely. Does Facebook have the most amount of eyeballs as far as a media platform is concerned right now? Hell yeah, everyone's on Facebook. Um, one out of every five minutes on the internet is spent on Facebook. One out of every five minutes is on Facebook. That's massive, right? So 20% of everyone's time is spent on Facebook. Um, why wouldn't Facebook charge for you to reach that audience, right? Especially as a, as a brand um, or as a publisher. Why would they not charge for that, right? It'd be stupid for them not to. You pay for every other media source, TV, print, etc. Why should you feel that it should be completely free on Facebook is beyond my comprehension. However, that's not the start and the end of the conversation. The real reason why Facebook organic reach is decreasing is because your content is getting shittier and shittier and people are putting out more garbage and nobody cares. That's why. And let me explain how this works. Facebook's algorithm, it used to be called EdgeRank, now it's just called the Facebook Newsfeed algorithm filters out things that it thinks will not be relevant to you as a consumer of the platform, as their user. Because if you saw every single thing that every person that you follow posts, and you saw every single thing from every brand that you follow, you would probably would leave Facebook because it's just completely overwhelming. You know, how many you know, how many people's coffee shots in the morning do you really care to see? If you, maybe you really like to see that. <laughs> I don't know. I certainly don't. And how many updates of, oh, hey, check out our article about this, or hey, buy our product about XYZ. You might follow 50, 60, 100, 200 brands. You don't want every single update from them when most of them are completely self-serving garbage, do you? Facebook knows that, and Facebook's most important asset is keeping you on the platform and keeping you, the user, engaged. That's their number one priority. That's always been Mark Zuckerberg's priority, and that's still to this day, even as they're, being, even as they're um, really making a shit ton of money, their number one priority is keeping users engaged in the platform because that's the overall long-term growth of Facebook. That's what makes them money in the short term and in the long term is your attention. So if they showed you everything and your attention went away, you, that doesn't benefit them in the long run. A perfect example is Twitter, where Twitter shows you everything from everyone you follow. It is so noisy that it's completely irritating and people don't really consume everything that all of the people they're following say, right? They get distracted, there's too much stuff in their newsfeed, so they pick up things here or there, but there's a lot less engagement on Twitter than there is on Facebook. And the reason is because the content you're seeing is more engaging to you. And Facebook's algorithm essentially looks at the patterns of what you as a person engage with and shows you more of that and less of the things that you don't engage with. This is the really simple way of explaining it. As far as a brand page or fan page um, posting content and saying, well, we get really bad reach, it's based on how the consumers are interacting with, all, with that post and other posts that you're, that you're putting out there. Here's exactly how it works, in, in a nutshell. This is a lot more complicated than that. There's a lot of math that even I don't understand. But here's, in a nutshell, how it works. 
you, the brand A, you know, brand ABC, puts a post up on Facebook, okay? Let's say you have 100,000 followers. Facebook immediately shows that post to a very small percentage, let's say 1%. I don't know the exact percentages. They, they, they change this algorithm on a near daily basis. Let's, but a very small percentage of those followers of the 100,000, they will show this post to immediately. The people that Facebook believes will be the most likely to engage with this type of post that you just put up there. If that small percentage of audience engages well, they like it, they comment on it, they share it, they click on it, whatever that engagement level is, and it's a positive one, well, Facebook will now open it up to a larger portion of your audience, say 3 to 4% approximately. Okay, so now you're reaching a larger percentage, three to 4,000 people instead of 1,000. And if those people start engaging with that piece of content more, Facebook recognizes that this is good content. And so they want their consumer base, they want the user to have good content and see this good content. Therefore, they'll start to open those, loosen that reins a little bit more and more and more people will see it. Based also on the virality of that post, how many people are sharing it, liking it, which shows in other people's news feeds, you'll get people outside of your own community that will see this post. On the flip side of that, if your content is garbage and it sucks, and Facebook shows this piece of content or this post to that first 1%, give or take, and no one interacts with it, there's no likes or very few, low engagement, people scroll past it, they don't click on it, you know, they don't look at the image, they don't enlarge it, um, if they do nothing, they X out of it or they hide it, then guess what? Facebook says, you know what? No one cares about this. We're not going to waste the time and the space on other people's news feeds with this non-engaging content, so we're going to stop showing it. That's why your engagement is so low, which is why really good content is super important and why when you have nothing good to say, it's better off that you don't say anything than it is to just put out meaningless garbage on Facebook. Here's the other piece of the equation as well. The more that you keep this up, if you're a content, if you're, let's say you start from one, from zero, right? This is the first, you, you just started your brand page, you got your first however many followers, and you start posting. If you're posting really engaging content, well, guess what? The next, Facebook's going to continue to realize that you, as a brand page, are engaging, right? So it's going to constantly, sh typically show your content to more people right off the bat. If it sees that no one interacts and no one interacts and no one interacts, and that's a consistency of your page and your brand, well, guess what? You could put up the most brilliant thing tomorrow, and Facebook is going to know to not show it to a larger audience because, historically speaking, your content has been garbage, so why are we going to assume that all of a sudden this post is going to be the one? So it has to be done consistently, it has to be engaging, and you have to do it consistently. And if you have nothing good to say, you're better off not saying anything or putting anything up there. Um, now, that's not to take everything away from say it's all your fault. Yeah, it's mostly your fault. But Facebook still wants to make a profit. So I highly doubt anyone with any content will ever be able to reach 100% of their audience organically. It's very unlikely to happen, probably will never happen, because of course Facebook wants to make money. So if your content's really engaging, oh, you should obviously <laughs> let everyone else see it by paying us. But I also think that that's fine. Um, but so this whole notion that it's Facebook's problem and not our problem, as in the brands or the marketers. No, it's your problem, it's our problem, it's the brand's problem, because that means that your content stinks. So if you're getting low engagement, it's most likely because your content stinks. That's it, plain and simple. Your content needs to be engaging to your customers, to your consumers, to the people that follow you. So figure out what it is that they like, what they engage with, and do more of that and then do more of it and get better at it and better at it. But if you post the same stuff that's, oh, check out my website, check out my website, check this out, hey, buy our stuff, buy our thing, no one cares, they'll stop caring, and guess what? Your, your ranking in the algorithm will just continuously go down and down, and over time, you're just gonna destroy your presence on Facebook. And after you know, the Q3 call with Zuckerberg, um, you know, hearing how vast Facebook is now and how they're continuing to increase user base, how they're continuing to increase engagement, how video is doing so well, you can't afford to ruin that, relation, that brand relationship with Facebook. So I think it's super important and I think it's important that people understand really how it works because wouldn't you rather read awesome content in your newsfeed than a bunch of garbage? That's why Facebook is winning because they're making sure that that's the way that it happens.
Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe. Please subscribe. Um, and that's it. That's all I'm asking of you today. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you so much.